Chicago Cars Direct. Today we're gonna to take a look at a unique Infiniti FX35 all-wheel drive. Why is this one unique? Supercharged. Under there you're going to find Infiniti's familiar 3.5 liter V6 engine. Uh, in this particular tune, this is the uh, Stillen setup. It's a Stillen stage 2 setup with intercooler, but uh, if you look at the top of the block here, you can see the entire Stillen uh, supercharger setup. Uh, but this is a 9,000 mile 08, so I mean you're talking a virtually showroom new car. Obviously very well cared for. Uh, well, let's take a walk around it because I believe in this tune, this is a 380 horsepower truck. We'll take it for a spin, show you what it can do, show you how close to brand new it is. We'll take a walk around it and uh, let you know. This FX really is in stunning condition. Uh, the original owner had to take great care of this car. They even went as so far as to put the, uh, the clear 3M bra on the front here. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up because it really is in excellent condition as well. Uh, these do protect from stone chips. Normally they'll stay on the car and then you remove them uh, when it's time to sell it because the paint and body below that will be perfect but uh, they don't really need to do anything to it. Uh, there's just a little scuff but once again this is on the 3M so it's not even on the paint. So once again, front end's excellent. But come around to the side here. You see, you got a set of the uh, Infinity 20 inch wheels here with a brand new set of, I shouldn't say brand new, they're probably within the 80 90% uh, number here. But uh, mud and snow rated 265 50R20. But uh, look at it down on the side. I mean, this titanium gray is a great color. But the chrome panels, paint, everything is factory original condition. See those 20s on the back. And then around the rear, cosmetically for being a supercharged truck, I mean, there's no indication on the exterior that this is a uh, packing such a huge punch. But you can see the uh, FX35 badging there proper. And then down the passenger side. I can't wait to take this thing for a spin. I still haven't driven it. In the rear here, you'll find a nice lift in height as well as a full set of the uh, Infinity Winter Mats. Uh, these are not a cheap addition uh, in our accessory purchase. Uh, and as far as accessories go, so is this uh, cargo mat here. Uh, this will protect the whole uh, area back here. And also, below, you're gonna find the Bose subwoofer along with an untouched spare, as well as the Infinity manuals. In my hand here, I have Infinity's, what's called the Intelligent Key. Um, as long as I have it in my pocket, I can get in the car and start it. So, uh, this little button on the door here, hit that once, unlock the driver's door, hit it again, gets all the other doors. But uh, all I do is just step in, put my foot on the brake, there's a little fob here just to turn. Uh, go ahead and turn that. Fires right up. Pretty cool. But uh, great layout. I mean, take a look at these seats in here. This is uh, virtually a brand new car. You got dual power seats up front. Uh, great seating position. The, the neat part is that this is a very sporty, smaller dimension. Uh, I don't even want to call it a truck based on dimensions, but the uh, overall size of it is relatively small in comparison to a lot of the other sport utilities, which benefits in two ways. One, not as much uh, unsprung weight that's uh, moving around, and the vehicle dynamics will be a lot stronger, especially with a combination of power like this car has. One of my favorite things is when they built these, the uh, entire gauge cluster moves with the uh, tilt and telescope wheel, which is pretty neat. But uh, over on the left here, you have an automatic setting for your xenons up front. Uh, really great layout. This is a really simplified way to uh, use all this uh, technology in here. But you can see you got your screen here that's going to run your uh, ventilation, your heating and AC, stereo, uh, and also your backup camera. You can see the uh, parameters right behind us there uh, as we back up. But below that, you're going to find the slot for the six-disc CD changer. This is a Bose sound system, uh, a phenomenal Bose sound system at that. 320 watts, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, very, very clean, and as you saw, the uh, subwoofer in the rear. Uh, that's a pretty neat add-on. But dual-zone climate control, you can see that right below here. This is all the uh, major functions for that, as well as your control center for the uh, entire cluster up here. Now below that, you're going to find the shifter for the uh, transmission here. You can see you've got a uh, manual gate mode, just drop it and drive to uh, use it as a normal uh, automatic transmission. But if you want to shift it manually, pop it in that gate and you can uh, pull back to downshift, push forward to upshift. And then right back of that, you're going to find the heated seat switches for both of the front occupants. The last thing to note over my head, 
is the factory power moonroof. I know I stated this is a smaller sport utility, but um, it's got more than enough room for a six footer back here. I mean, these seats are positioned exactly where I was just sitting up there. Um, and these actually, the neat part about these seats is there's a little tab here. You can actually recline them for more comfort. How many trucks can say that? Experience of driving the FX35 supercharged, um, you know, in, in everyday conditions doesn't differ that much from the stock vehicle. Um, this car only having 9,000 miles on it, it really does drive like a brand new car. Um, they're very sporty, these seats are very, very, you know, they're bolstered well. I don't want to say they hug you very much because you don't want to be too uncomfortable in a vehicle like this, but listen, slightly dig into the throttle and you'll hear the supercharger spool up. But you know, this car is not, I, I wouldn't imagine this car is for everybody. Uh, this is for somebody who can truly appreciate the extra power in this. Um, and it, it's faster in every way than an FX45. I don't care who wants to challenge me on that. Um, and significantly so because uh, as great as that engine may be, it does not have a ton of low end torque. Um, you know, at least what you'd expect of something uh, of that size. It's got a lot of power on the top end, but that's pretty much what it lacks. Uh, us Americans, we like that low end torque and uh, this really does make up for it. It's a hell of a driver, very sporty. You'll have to excuse me, I got a little bit of a uh, summer cold, so if I sound a little stifled, uh, that would be the reason, but um, I really am so impressed with this car. I had not driven it uh, until now, and I don't know what I was expecting. I thought in my mind that they already made an FX45, and this was kind of a, uh, I guess a necessary car for them to build, uh, or at least offer. But what a cool option. I mean, it's not the cheapest option. I want to say this was uh, about $10,000 with everything installed. Uh, that's no small chunk of change, but what a really cool way to set this thing up. And to actually just know, I mean, here we're cruising along on the highway. It's no different than any other uh, FX, but the mid-range torque you have. You can hear the supercharger just kind of spool on. It feels amazing. And uh, very well built. It is an Infiniti. If you're watching this video and you're considering an FX45, turn it off right now. If you're not considering an FX45, then listen to what I have to say. Um, the supercharged variant on here, I always tell people, if you don't need the V8, don't get it because the V6 is torquey enough in this engine. The beauty of a supercharger is that it's belt driven, so it adds a lot of low end torque to the engine, so you really launch right out of the pocket. Uh, this does feel a whole lot faster uh, than the Infiniti FX45, and this car is one of the best handling sport utilities out there. Uh, which I don't think is a, a bad thing, obviously, especially when you consider the extra power that's added to the car. Uh, in my hand here, I actually have the uh, vehicle history from uh, Infinity, but it does show the cars are equipped with touring, hands-free package, uh, black roof rails with crossbars, uh, an iPod interface. The factory warranty, which is four years, 60,000 miles, runs through September 30th, 2010. Uh, the car was a late delivery model, so you actually have a lot of warranty left. It was. Uh, September 30th, 08, it was put in service, so that's a late model 08. Uh, the neat part is this is from Fields Infinity, where the car was purchased new, uh, and according to their factory records here, they've got everything uh, on here as how they would uh, be able to warranty it, but still in supercharged system, sport exhaust. 20-inch uh, wheels were added. This car did have 18s initially. Uh, added the cold air intake, uh, the supercharger kit, and uh, everything else. So um, really an awesome setup, but uh, check out this car on our website. You'll find 60 pictures of this FX at chicagocarsdirect.com or check out uh, or check out our highlight reel on YouTube. You'll find us at youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for spending some time with us today. We'll see you next time.